Scene. Remember back in the day when we could kick in the drink? Karaoke, wanna stick it with me? I'm carrying a split in the fifth of the tea, sticking the drink. Sweat sick, man, a different thing. And we could kill it in a cipher like words. Word is spread a virus by us vipers. Hocking up a poisons, we're fighting with lyrics. Now it's like life is a different experience. We're taking the fear and it's like the stick in the spirit. Should I follow my peers or are they delirious? Yo, what up, everybody? Intravenous here from POL Game Review and POL Music. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about some video game collecting. And you might even consider it toys a little bit. Here we have an X-Men Tiger Electronics game. Looks very reminiscent, doesn't it? But this is actually not something old. This is from The Vault. And we're going to talk about this real quick. And I've got a bunch more stuff. So stick around. All right, guys, so tell me if you are interested in video game collecting. And um, I'll do more of these videos because, as I said in the toy one, my previous episode, which if you haven't watched it, you should, about spawn collecting with spawn action figures. Then um, this is one about video games. Let me know if you're interested because I collect them all the time. First off, I want to talk about the PlayStation Vita because, as we all know, the games are getting more and more expensive constantly for the physical copies then they had announced that they were closing the digital stores for a playstation network for the ps3 psp and ps vita luckily they just announced that they're gonna they have decided by listening to the audience that they are going to be not doing that they are ending the psp store but they're going to prolong the life of the ps3 and the ps vita yes but you definitely want to be picking up these physical copies. And the best place to find them that I've looked and found are pawn shops. So I actually went to Easy Pawn the other day and I picked up all these games except for this one separate. I picked up nine games for the PS Vita and they were all marked very reasonable. 10 to 20, only one of them was $40 or maybe it was $30. So I picked up Sly Cooper, Silent Hill Book of Memories, Injustice Gods Among Us, Batman Arkham Origins, Black Gate, Army Corps of Hell. This one is, I think, still decently priced, but I'm sure even this one's going to go up. It was kind of a sleeper from Square Enix. Unit 13, Angry Birds, Star Wars. The only reason I got this is because of the value of PS Vita games. I'm not very interested in it, though I did play it for a couple hours. It kind of got boring. Still. The Amazing Spider-Man. And Little Deviants. This one is also um, reasonably priced. Now I also went to my favorite video game store in Boulder, Colorado, and that is Game Force. And I went there a few weeks ago and picked up Trails of Cold Steel. I think I got this for 49 bucks. And they had Trails of Cold Steel new, sealed for $89.99. I saw it at the time, I was like, oh, that's expensive. Um, I do know these games are gonna be going up though. So I decided to go back one week later and they had marked the price up on Trails of Cold Steel sealed to $130. And at that price, I did not pick it up because I hope to find it in a better deal. I don't really like dropping mass amounts of money on a single game, even if it's a good game. These are really good games. I'm playing through this now, really good. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the Tiger Electronics handheld. This, as far as I can tell, is identical to the one that they released back in the early 90s, I believe. It is uh, called X-Men Project X, Battle of Cyclops against Juggernaut and Apocalypse. Fire optic lasers at the enemy and get help from Wolverine. Can the evil mutants be stopped? The power is in your hands. Hardly the power is in your hands. I actually picked this up at Target the other day because it was on clearance for $6.99, I think. Thought it would look nice, just sit back. I like looking at it because I had a lot of these when I was a kid. I didn't have X-Men, but I had Sonic and Street Fighter 2. Think Hook from the, the Steven Spielberg Peter Pan movie. It's cool to have on the shelf. I'm not going to open it because I know how these, guys, these games play. It's got what looks like a D-pad, but that's actually just for making selections. You only have a move and a jump button, and then some sound buttons, start, uh, start pause, and an off switch. Now, this one's really interesting. Here we have 
something you may have never seen because I hadn't either. Can you guess what this is? Look at that wood grain. This was called the game brain for the Atari 2600. And what it is, it's powered by the console, which I find pretty amazing. Um, you stick this cartridge matching wood grain into your console. So here, imagine this. And then the matching wood grain, it looks just like a little Atari. You daisy chain it to the cartridge slot with this and then it gives you a six cart selector box. They have little buttons right here, select your game, and then you have two extra slots to hold extra games. Several companies release these, and I, as far as I've seen doing research, they had a 10 cartridge version of this too, and they might have had a four cartridge, and then there are other companies that did it as well. I picked this up for $39.99, at the local store. I don't know if you can see that, but there's still a price tag on there. RGA International. It's the RGA-1360 if you want to look it up. They seem to be pretty hard to find. I've only seen one and it was boxed on eBay selling for $125. It was open box. It wasn't new, but so I thought $39.99. That's pretty cool. In a future video, I'm going to be testing this out. I just so happen to have gotten rid of all my old Atari games because I don't really play them. I have them on all these collections. You can emulate them if you want. We're going to be testing this out. I'm going to get some more games, put six in there, and try jumping around, see how it goes. And when we play that in the next video, I'm going to be using the Fighter 6 SG-6. This was made by ASCIiWare. I think I pronounced that right. ASCIiWare. ASCIiWare, maybe. <laughs> Um, this is a fighter stick, arcade stick for the Sega Genesis. I picked this up for $19.99 at the same place I got the Game Brain. This fighter stick kind of brings home a less than accurate arcade feel to your games. You don't have a clicky joystick and the buttons aren't quite the same as an arcade stick, a real one. But it does have turbo options at the top, start. Um, there's a little switch right here. I don't know if that um, changes the speed of your turbo or it could change the sensitivity of the stick. I'm not really sure. Cool thing about Atari 2600 is it used the same connector as the Sega Genesis. It's great to play those instead of using the joystick that came with your Atari or an aftermarket such as this gray one. This one's pretty cool though. Finally, I have three different games here that I picked up from the pawn shop. First off, we have Game & Watch Gallery for $6.99 in its case, its little carrier case. It's in really good condition. It's hardly ever been played, actually. And I like this because it's one of the Super Game Boy game packs, so it has like a built-in color palette and I believe frame your Game Boy games. Turn them into a Game Boy Color type thing. Next up I got Persona 4 Arena for the PlayStation 3 for $12.95. I think this sells for $40 plus right now and it's in great condition. Pick up your PS3 games now. This is a perfect time to collect PS3 as they're gonna start skyrocketing pretty soon I believe. PS3 go get it now. Xbox 360 as well. And this disc aside from a few fingerprints has no scratches at all. Comes with the booklet complete. That was a steal. And then finally I grabbed this for $7.99 just kind of on a whim because I found it neat. I'm not going to open this though. The packaging is pretty shoddy. It's almost opened itself. Um, this is Sonic the Hedgehog for the Leapfrog and it says DJ DJ Custom Gaming System. I just kind of thought that was neat. Um, when I first looked at it and picked it up, I thought it was just a port of Sonic the Hedgehog, but for the Leapfrog. But it, it is and isn't. It's It's got Sonic the Hedgehog in there, but then there are activities in between to help you learn consonant and vowel blends, compound words, prefixes and suffixes, plural words, and contractions. Choose from over 10,000 spelling words, and then download your custom spelling list to study as you play. I, you know, this is came out way later than I was a kid. When I was a kid, this was from 2008. Yes, I was an adult by then. $7.99, I don't know, I have a feeling, I think I looked it up, these sell for like 20 bucks. I don't know if this is gonna go up in price, but I mean, it's got a cool cover. And um, yeah, why not?
why not? So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this different episode introducing my new standing set. And um, let me know if you like video game collecting, toy collecting. We could do a lot more of that on this show. Thanks so much for tuning in this long till the end. And please subscribe. It really helps the channel. And don't forget to go get my new album, Growing Pains by Intravenous, on Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, all that good stuff. Y'all have a wonderful day and evening, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. These days, man, I don't know why. 2020, but you can't be so blind. We hate because we can't go by. Spend that money, go drop that dime. These days, man, I don't know why. 2020, but you can't be so blind. We hate because we can't go by. Spend that money, go drop that dime. 2020, vision.